Hey guys, it's Brittany. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. I love showing you my hauls and I haven't made a video in a couple weeks, so I wanted to do that today. My daughter's probably gonna be coming out here, coming out here and my dog. And um, I have a giant set, so that's fun too. <laughs> I'm also gonna be steaming the clothes, so you can watch me do that. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I have this pair of LuLaRue jeans. I've talked about these before. And you guys, I've been selling these like seriously like crazy. I love them so much. They sell so quick for about $35 to $40. Um, we see all our clothes. So they look all nice for the pictures and for our customers when they get them. Boston, can you say come say hi? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said no. She said no. -uh. Yeah, but the jeans I don't get like too crazy. Sometimes they are super wrink wrinkly. But I get that a little bit. Um, but yeah, we've been doing really, really good with these Lululemon jeans, so definitely be checking those out. Um, this is a brand I've been picking up for a while. Oh, you know what? Here, I'll show you. This is what they look like. If you ever see, it has like the L, L R Lululemon, I guess, um, on the pocket, and then they have this little with love Lululemon. Um, I. All the tags I've seen look like this. I've never seen them have like an older looking tag. They all kind of look like that. Um, next, I have this Ishakti dress. I pick these up quite often. Um, some sell for a lot more than others. Uh, this will probably get like 25 to 30 for it. But it's a quick sell for me if I list it like at the right price or whatever. It doesn't need to be seen. It looks pretty good. Oh. I've been really making a lot of TikTok videos. So if you're here from TikTok, hello. I'm so glad you're here. And I hope um, I can get some more people over from TikTok because I definitely am able to give a lot more information on the YouTube videos. I have a lot more time than the three minutes. So um, next it that I have, and I love picking this up only in plus sizes um is lucky brand i sell these like so fast for about 25 dollars um but when you're only paying about four three four dollars for something like pick it up this is the extra large um like this will only sell for about 25 and then like a 1x or a 2x would do even faster actually but but this is great these little bosses do super well for me so i like picking those up um, you'd be surprised what brands that you normally, or I normally wouldn't get, but then do really well in like a plus size. So, um, this brand I've talked about <clears throat> many times before. Um, I know not everyone has the best luck with it, but I don't know. I do really good with J. Jill linen, um, pieces or just even a nice plus size J. Jill does really good. Um, but this is the Love Linen J. Jill, and this is, I just thought was really pretty because it's got all these, like, beaded embroidered, uh, designs on it. Um, and it's like a tunic, so everyone loves a good tunic. Um, next we have this, uh, cheetah print Torah jacket. I almost didn't get this because I do have a lot of Torah, but I'm telling you right now, Torah's just been selling so much for me, and I thought someone's gonna want like a substantial little jacket. So I picked it up. It's a 1X. Um, yeah. Torah's just one of those brands, like, I don't buy everything. I just kind of style it, base it on style. If it looks like really nice, I'll pick it up. But I thought this was really cute. And like some people just love cheetah. I used to be like all about the cheetah. <laughs> so this is a perfect example of like something that's not linen from J. Jill, but I picked it up because it's just really cute. Um, and it was only $4.99 and we get like a 20% off all of that. So 
it was a good deal. So I thought this was really cute. I thought it'd be perfect for like the holidays with the red and stuff too. And it's a medium tall. Um, yeah, I normally am like really weary about mediums, but what? Are you come say hi yet? Oh, okay. I never want to say hi. You're never gonna say hi. Wow, Boston! I can't believe you. My husband. We have three kids, so you're probably gonna see kids in videos a lot. Um, okay, so this is a plus size Talbots. This is another brand I only pick up in plus size, just like Lucky Brand. Um, it's an extra large but i thought it was kind of perfect for the season it's just this really really cute knit car uh, cardigan sweater um great for like layering piece and it's got kind of these little short not kind of it does have shoulder details which is cute too i'm trying not to knock this rack over i have a lot on here to show you we actually went thrifting today so this is all stuff we just literally got home today and, and found this. We, I, there's one particular store I love going to and Tyler hadn't been there yet and we both had really good luck. So yeah, but this brand, I wouldn't, there was a couple other pairs I didn't pick up. Maybe, if, maybe in a plus size, but the ticket, <laughs> it's a tag. I need that tag. You can have those. Um, this is for vet. I don't pick these up normally, if, but these were new tags. And the comps were actually really good for new tags. And they're so cute. Like, look at these. They're so cute. But um, there's an amber mid-rise skinny. But they're selling for around 45 to 50 if they were new tags. So I totally picked them up. Uh, I wasn't even going to look them up. I was just going to get them. But yeah, but... For some reason, the, the pre-owned ones are like all over the place. Like some were selling for like 30 and then others were selling for like $4.99. So that was just kind of weird. Um, I just didn't want to take a chance on them. There was a couple more, but they were kind of like, I think they were 24s, which is just a small size. So I didn't take a chance on those, but yeah. Uh, this is another one I pick up a lot um, if it's a good price. Uh, this is another, this is a pure Jill, but I can tell it's a linen one. And I think I paid five for this one with a discount. But this is a dress and it's just really cute. It's kind of like this, um, it kind of reminds me of like a flax dress actually. Wouldn't that be awesome? If it was flax, that'd be cool. Material says a lot. No, it's not. Linen and viscose. But um, material tells you a lot about an item worth sometimes so even if it's a brand maybe you don't normally pick up um i would look it up you know putting the the uh sorry the material in you know like say you're looking up uh cinnamon come here a j jill sweater like j jill cashmere sweater or linen shirt might do a little better sorry my our dog is like we're living with our in-laws right now because we just moved out here and we're trying to find a place eventually. We're just trying to kind of save money. It's definitely more expensive to live in Arizona than it is in um, South Carolina. So, so yeah. So our dog and their dog, their dog doesn't like our dog. Well, we have a German Shepherd and she's just a puppy. She's just a baby and she wants to play with their dog like all the time. And their dog is like, please leave me the heck alone. <laughs> um, okay, so this piece, oh, this is so pretty. This is a soft surroundings. I love finding soft surroundings, but I just, this is just really pretty. It's like a embroidered um, dress. It's very boho and it's actually kind of got like this dip dye ombre thing going on. And it's just like a darker purple. It's so pretty. And it, a lot of times I've found these and it doesn't have the slip anymore. But this one does have the slip here underneath that was still connected. Um, but this will probably list for about 35 And I love finding soft surroundings. 
it sells really well for us. Um, maybe not some of the older pieces, but I've definitely, I mean, I've found some beautiful vintage socks around these, but um, this next one, this is a new brand I've been picking up a ton. I'm not sure if I've talked about this yet before, but it's called Go Softly Patio. I don't think I've even ran into this like out in the Carolinas, I think, but I've been running into it all the time here. It's it's like a Moo Moo brand. They have a lot of Moo Moo's. Um, I've sold like three now that had like cardinal birds embroidered, which is so funny because there's cardinals everywhere in South Carolina. <laughs> but um, yeah, like they just are usually embroidered, but this is just really pretty, like a coastal. It's like kind of like a paisley. Yeah, it's like a paisley print. Um, really bright and colorful. It's got pockets. I think this is for someone who like wants to like lounge on the house, they'd be like really into this. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna start laying stuff over here. Sorry guys. Um, okay, so this was an interesting buy today. I bought these page jeans and I have not bought page besides men's. I do I do pick up men's page jeans if it's a good, you know, price or whatever. But I have not bought page jeans for women in like a couple of years. But I always look them up because I know there's some certain styles. And these were I don't know. I don't always look them up. I know most of the styles, but this one I hadn't think I looked up before. But these are the Manhattan, and they actually did fairly well for around $35. Um, and they're kind of like, like kind of like a mini boot cut look to them. I'm sorry, I'm so short, you guys. <laughs> there. Um, and they're blacks, which I think I I always like a good black jean. Um, oh, what am I doing? But yeah, those did pretty good. Like I said, for about 35, 40. Okay, so this is always fun. And I've been running into a lot of these having Disney so close. Um, yeah, this is, these do great for us. It is, um, it's just a Disney dress. It's like from the Disney store or whatever. But these sell like quick for about 35, 40 bucks. Um, yeah, so I was really, I was like, heck yeah, I wanna grab that really quick. And this is a uh, extra large too, which helps. Um, but yeah, it's got like Minnie and Mickey and all the whole, the whole gang. <laughs> um, we, and I've sold two of those before. And funny enough, I found them in South Carolina actually. Um, so this is, I this is a newer um, women's AG jeans. I do not always pick these up. But this is the legging ankle. I am pretty good with the legging ankle for me personally. If it's kind of like this distressed look. Um, and I could tell this is their, this is kind of like their more modern looking one. There's also like, there's one that's like full, all black with red. I don't pick up any of those necessarily. So, but yeah, these do pretty well for me. I'll probably get about, probably like 30 for these. Um... Okay, next is, oh, this is always so exciting to find this. I'll show you the tag first before I start seaming it. This is a Jams World dress. I know, I was so excited to find this. I am not finding Jams World in forever. And it was kind of funny. Um, I ran into a friend at Goodwill today and I was like, I think she gave me good luck because I found a lot of good stuff after, <laughs> after I ran into her. Um, but this dress, Jams World, does really good. I've only, this is only the third time I've ever found a Jams World dress. Um, and this one is particularly cute in my opinion. I'll probably list it for around $50 to $60. Um, but yeah, Jams World does great. I mean, it's, it's a vintage brand. It's, I don't believe they make new ones of this anymore. I'm pretty positive they don't. But I thought this was so cute. I can't, I don't know. I have not found Jams World in a long time. At least six months. I mean, I really think it's, I've only found it three times. I'm pretty sure. Maybe, I think I maybe found it, but it was stained or something. Okay, so this top, it doesn't look like much, but this is a really great brand to be on the lookout for, actually. It's called Michael Simon. It's a vintage brand. Um, and he's more known for like a cardigan sweater. I actually sold a Valentine's cardigan, very like, 
kind of like this, probably made around at the same time, um, but it was like pink and it had the hearts. It was really, I mean, not for me, but it was crazy. And it sold for about $45. So I am always happy to find something like that. I'm not, this isn't one of the cardigan sweaters, but it still has a lot of embroidery. I'm definitely gonna use like Valentine's Day keyword in there. And I'll probably list it for about 30, maybe 40. So we'll see. But yeah, this is definitely something to be on the lookout. Michael Simon. Um, and he's definitely known for like um, holiday. Like I think he does like Christmas sweaters or like maybe like a teacher's like with apples and stuff like that. Um, this is a brand I love, love finding this. I, I have heard some people like saying they struggle with it. I, my biggest recommendation would be to look at the material when it comes to this brand, which is called Eileen Fisher. And it looks like this. Um, this piece in particular is just everything I'm looking for. It is like very boho looking. It's like I would call this like a lag and look cottage core. It's got like the kind of like loose hanging pockets and it's 100% linen. It's textured, puckered. Like this is perfect for um, just like a nice like chill boho look. But this this brand, I, I almost never turn it down unless it's like shrunken or ruined because if you describe it, I don't know, if you describe it the right way, I it will sell or price it the right way. I think maybe sometimes people list too high for Eileen Fisher. Like this, I probably list, this I probably list about 45 because it is just kind of a stylish piece in my opinion. But I just sold actually a dress, um, and maybe I could pop that up for you, but I just sold a dress yesterday or the day before for about $60 from her, which I mean, who's gonna complain about $60? Because it's not gonna be me complaining. <laughs> All right, this doesn't really need to be steamed. But this is a new dress to me. It's called the Pyramid Collection. Um, I've never heard about this before. Uh, they, they did pretty good. They do pretty good for about $25 to $30. Um, they did have some other pieces, like unique ones. Definitely look it up if you find it. Um, I don't know if I should it. Uh, if you find it, there are some that are worth like, a lot like 80 or more but i don't think it's this one um they have it's more like a i think they have kind of um like celestial looking ones maybe look those up or buy them i mean i would buy them all if, if it is a good price but you know what i mean i'm as if if you don't know by now like selling an item for 25 dollars plus and plus shipping you know, I'm happy with that. That's a great sale to me. If I'm not paying too much for the item. Even if I'm even if I pay six dollars for an item and sell it for twenty-five, I'm still making good profit. And the more I list, the more I sell, and it just adds to my profit. So I'm happy with that. This piece though. We'll stop blabbing. This I thought was a beautiful soft surroundings piece. I think someone's really gonna love this. It's like, I don't know if it is silk. It feels like silk. Let me look. No, it's viscose. Okay, well, it definitely feels like a silky material. I'm not really sure what viscose feels like, I guess, but it's just really, really pretty. It's just an open front, maybe like a shawl. And this is actually sewn, so it stays like that. Um, and it kind of reminds me of like the sunsets, very boho looking. I really like this one a lot. I, um, Soft Surroundings has a lot of bohemian inspired like pieces. Um, this, I love this. I love finding this brand. I almost always buy it. I definitely check for stains, um, because... Yeah, I thought I saw a scene, <laughs> but um, I don't know. Uh, I do really great with this brand. It's it's called Fresh Produce. This is what it looks like. This is a this is a vintage tag. There's some newer tags. Um, 
I also, I just heard someone talking about that they don't make fresh produce anymore, so it's worth a little more or like whatever, but I've actually sold a dress like a year ago. I knew it was fresh produce just by like the pattern. It literally had this cut out. Like this, the tag was not even on there. And and I knew too, because the material said made in the USA, like I knew it was fresh produce and I sold it for 35 and the buyer was like, heck yeah, I'm so happy. Like they loved it. So I I just do well with it. Um, This is another pair of LuLaRoe um, jeans. Like I mentioned, I've been doing really, really, really well with these. Like I, I'm pretty sure we've already sold, I think I've shown, in my videos, I've shown four pairs, and I'm pretty sure there's only one left. So that, is, I'm happy with that. That's great. And that just shows me, I mean, it's going to sell. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is. LuLaRoe is not a good brand. Do not buy anything else in LuLaRoe. I mean, back in the day, man, I used to be so excited when I would find a dress, like new with the tags, but do, do not buy those, seriously. But the jeans, yes, I'm giving the A-OK -okay to buy the jeans. They sell very well. I, actually, it makes me want to kind of try a pair on because they do seem like really comfortable. They're just, like, they're kind of, they're like a pull-on. Like, they have this elastic waist or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. We just, we've been, we can't keep them. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so this is a fun sweater. I have to wash it. It's kind of got a stain on it now. I'm looking at it. But it is just, like, how cute is this? Like, it's just this vintage little crop sweater. And I mean, I wish I was cool enough to wear this. But it is, I think it's really cute. It's called a reference point. I've never heard of it. I didn't even look it up. I just thought it was really cute. Kind of grandpa looking but it this is a women's like crop sweater but I love this so much I'll probably sell this is for about 35 but how cute is this yeah I'm, let me put this aside I gotta wash this um we um we have tied sticks usually like on hand I use the tied sticks and I use the um like the tied wipes I love, you, we can, we buy them bulk on Amazon. Love those. Okay, so this is actually, I showed you a red um, Ishakti dress earlier. This is um, another dress off, like an offshoot brand of Ishakti. It's called Wayward Fancies, like that. And as, if you can see, it says Ishakti there <laughs> below it. Uh, Wayward Fancies is great for me. I've sold probably about three or four dresses um, by Wayward Fancies. And this one is really beautiful. It's it's like kind of like an ombre blue. Um, yeah, it's, with the holidays coming up and stuff, I'll probably list this for about 45 and see what happens. But I think this is this is great. Someone's going to really love this dress. They at Wayward Fancies has a lot of really fun prints that I've noticed when I find the dress. This one's more chill, actually. Um, some of them are really wild. Uh, so be on the lookout maybe for a little. I always look at wild stuff. It, but if it catches my attention like that, I, I'll look it up um, on eBay. Okay, so this is just this is just a Coldwater Creek blazer. It's kind of like, might be kind of like a carpet jacket. Um, but it is super cute. It's a 2X, so that's the main reason I got it. And this one was $5.99, so I paid about four bucks for it. And that's the main reason I got it. It's a 2X, and I think it's pretty cute. And I think someone will probably buy this for about $35 plus shipping, so. Love that. Oh, this needs to be steamy. Uh, this is a Torrid top. Oh, I hate when my, my steamer spits at me sometimes. Um, I love these kind of like denim washed tops by Torrid. They do pretty good actually for me. Just this, even just this like kind of gray. I actually just bought my mother-in-law a sweater that's like the same color from Torrid. She loves Torrid. Um, 
but this is kind of just I buy these all the time this is kind of like a staple thing that I have in my in our Poshmark and eBay closet whatever uh, is this kind of grungy torrid stuff um, but I'll probably get about 25 to 30 for this this bad boy or girl or whatever <laughs> Um, okay, so this is a brand I've been wanting to talk about, but I hadn't really, I don't know, maybe have, I don't think I have, but this is so, I really like, like this for myself, but this is a, it's a large, it's a large Knox Rose, um, this is from Target, but I do pretty well with these Knox Roses if it's really boho, um, embroidered and and a maxi length dress i don't do as well with um the midi lengths but this is like a full length maxi it's it's just really pretty i honestly like i would say it's kind of like a dusty blue color but these sell like consistently for about 25 dollars and our goodwill had this for 4.99 and then plus our 20 percent off so I'm, that's a great deal. And the seltzer rate on that brand is really, really good. So I'm happy with that. Oh, these don't really need to be seen either. I picked stuff that didn't need to be seen too bad. <laughs> um, so these, I this brand, I have been kind of picking it up if it's really like cute, but this is Can Can. Um, I looked up today the, the flare um, of can cans and the flares do pretty good. Um, these were selling for around 20, actually it was like 30, like 28, 30, um, to 35 or more, depending just like on the style of them. They had some with like fringy, um, raw hands, though I think that might do a little better. And I also found a pair that was new with tech, so I definitely bought those, but these were selling for about 30 plus shipping. So I'm happy with that too. And I got a couple pairs of those actually. Um, this I got because it's so adorable and it's an, a 1X um, in Talbots. And it is just this really cute gingham plaid. Um, it's like a little jacket with the crop sleeves. And I just thought this was really cute and I'll probably get about, probably get about 30 for this. I thought that was adorable. Okay, so I took a chance on these, but I know like leather pants are really coming into style right now. So this is a vintage Ann Taylor. I don't usually buy that, but I'm gonna take a chance on these. They're just like suede leather pants. They're 100% real leather. Um, this is like pretty brown color. I think they're really cute. I'll probably list these for probably about 30, maybe more. Um, and just kind of see what happens, but I think they're gonna be good. Um, so I, I've been doing so well with these uh, vintage Sun Devils, like sweatshirts and stuff. I've been, they sell so quick for me. It's funny because if I would, I don't think the Gamecock stuff would have sold, I don't know. But this is just, just a vintage sweater, Arizona State Sun Devils. It's Crabble sportswear. It doesn't really matter to me about that. Um, it is a 2XL. I believe this is, I don't know, it could be a women's, it's really cute. I, um, I'm always tempted to give some to my sister-in-law because she is such a, oh, that was it. She's, she's, her and her husband are huge Sandelville's fans, so. But that is it, guys. I just got, came back to the C Shakti dress and we already showed you that. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope that these videos are helping you out. Sorry, I look kind of shitty today, but. Yeah, that, that's it, and have a great week, and have a great sales week. We'll see you very soon. Bye!